live deep in the heart of West Texas from the Hendrick Center for Excellence in Conservative Federalist Studies. This is the James Hendrick Show, SIB. Hey guys, welcome. Today we're talking about communist infestation versus uh, Christian integration. Now, the news sources, news source I am relying on mostly is CBN News, Christian Broadcasting Network, um, founded by uh, Pat Robertson, a, a Baptist minister who, you know, growing up I've learned to admire and respect. Regardless of what any conservative um, talk radio people may say, I, I, had, I admire him. I'm not saying I agree with him on everything, but, you know, we need more of the Lord's people out there making a, making a statement so that we can take this country back, okay? It's time for us to make a stand and, and to draw a line in, in the sand. Stand up and be counted, okay? Here in a minute, I will give you one of these uh, stories. This from CBN News, uh, Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer has done the unthinkable. Yeah, <laughs> the unthinkable. He's retiring while the Democrats are in power. Stephen Breyer. Okay, so Breyer is 83. Maybe I can give him a pass for wanting to retire. But this couldn't have happened at a worse time. However, I hardly see that this changes the balance of power. Even with Breyer, we have a 6-3. to three. And, and Kamala Harris saying she can pack the court. Uh, uh, hello? Clickbait for liberals. Clickbait for liberals. Because you know what? We are going to have a red wave. I'm really, I'm really predicting this, guys. We're going to have a red wave. Um, I could easily go on and on, like some of these other uh, pundits, about uh, Biden cursing to a Fox News reporter. But I agree with Kirby Anderson with Point of View Radio Talk Show that news media has got to quit circulating all this uh, um, visceral reactive crap. I mean, seriously. There's other stuff to report. There's other stuff to report. Did you know that there is a pastor in Ukraine that says with the, with the possibility of war looming between Russia and Ukraine, more people in the Ukraine are turning to Christ, are accepting Christ. So if you ask me, I think this world is screaming for a revival. This world is screaming for a restoration. And so I think it's up to Christian conservative federalists to, to, to go out there and, and speak the truth. And there's a lot of old school contemporary Christian artists that, that are still going out there speaking truth and, and some that, that have been. You know, the ones I admire, Michael W. Smith, love Michael W. Smith. Um, John Gibson, the contemporary soul Christian artist. Who sounds kind of like a uh, Stevie Wonder? Uh, you have um, Stephen Curtis Chapman. That man is a powerhouse. I love him. And then you have uh, For Him. For Him is an amazing group. Uh, I think they folded around 2007 or so. Lovely event. You can still play their, you know, their music and everything. See, I don't just. I hear saying, Jimmy, come on, man, stick to the issues. Stick to the issues. But I don't want to just play reactive politics all the time, okay? 
I want to keep my finger on the pulse of what's going on in America, but in a preactive, proactive way. All right? We can thank God that the pastor in Ukraine says more people are turning to Christ. We need that right now. There's a piece on the, uh, in the American thinker. And I'm just going to comment on this in passing and just really give you my final analysis as your public affairs consultant. The pandemic end game. Is there one? Not under the, ca- uh, uh, not under the current Biden administration. Listen to me, guys. Here's the problem. Act with some precautions. Say you're sick, but you're well enough to go somewhere like a public gathering. Wear, wear a mask. At least I feel like I have to because um, some of my birth defects involve asthma and adrenal deficiency. So I feel like it's kind of necessary to, to, to do. But there is an end game if we look to the one light at the end of the tunnel, folks. How about Christian integration? How about we bring Christ back to America? But some of these people, oh, you bring Christ back to America. You, you're going to offend all these other religions. You're going to offend us. Shut your mouth. America is a Christian nation. Like it or not. Got it? America is a Christian nation. And you need to see that right here and now. Now, I'm going to give my analysis of public affairs. Here's my consult. Here's my consultation tip to, to Joe Biden for free. Don't curse around reporters up on the stage in the White House press room. It's unprofessional, dude. And to Republicans, how about we return back to correct principles? If we want to win in 2022, we need to say that we're for correct principles and mean it. We need more Americans in power in Congress that go into the wisdom ideology that's in the Bible. Therefore, take care. Oh, another Christian artist I love. Friends, listen to it right now. Carmen, Revival in the Lamp. Carmen, oh. Went to one of his concerts in uh, 1996 as his riot tour. And, oh, man, I tell you, I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. Now, I know some of you probably, you know, you may be turned off to me talking about Christianity and Christ. But it's a big part of my politics. Okay? I used to be a flaming rebel. What well, is your church and politics should need, but now I know better. And with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendrick Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and receive most daily updates. Now, stay tuned. Tomorrow is going to be Fearless Faith Friday. I'm going to be out of town, so... Um, This evening, I'm going to go ahead and pre-tape it and then release it while I'm heading out of town so that you guys can can hear it and have fun. Now, this is Jimmy Hendrix saying until next time, take care, be proactively and preactively informed, and God bless.